Our Gospel for Sunday, December 20th, is the Gospel of Luke and the Annunciation story. This is a beautiful story uh, that really brings home to us the power of the Incarnation, of the power of Christmas. Um, of course, it's the story of the Annunciation. And there are three aspects of this story, I think, that are worth uh, highlighting for us. And the first of these comes from the fact that life is often unpredictable. Mary was a young girl, uh, probably going about her daily chores, when she was approached by the angel Gabriel. You can imagine what this might have meant for her. Uh, startled, um, confused, you know, not sure what was going on. How many times in our lives, you know, we have similar events. We're taken off guard by, by a sudden turn of events, by something that someone has asked us. And I think this is what happened with Mary. And yet she didn't run away. She didn't reject uh, the angel Gabriel. She didn't say, I don't have time for you right now. She listened. Um, and therefore, I think we find in the story of the Annunciation three really important points for our lives today. One is that Mary uh, turned to the angel in faith. Uh, and the first, the first words out of the angel Gabriel are, do not be afraid. Uh, as if, you know, God already knows, the minute something takes us off guard, our first response is fear, right? We fear when we lose control of the situation. We fear the unknown. Uh, we fear being encountered or approached by something that's completely foreign to us, or someone, we might say. And yet this, this statement, do not fear, is the beginning of the work of God in our lives, as it was in the life of Mary. Second, the angel Gabriel says to Mary, the power of the Holy Spirit will overshadow you. The power of the Spirit of God will come upon you. Um, that same power of the Spirit that will bring about the most amazing event in the life of Mary is the same power of Spirit that brought about um, life out of chaos, uh, life in this Big Bang universe, um, life in our own lives. That, that same power of Spirit that overshadowed Mary is that same breath of God's love that breathes through our own lives here and now. Um, and, and sometimes we're not attentive to this power of the Holy Spirit, but Mary was, and therefore she listened. She was obedient in this, in this sense, right? That uh, the angel Gabriel says to her that the Spirit will come upon her and something great will take place in her life. And she was not sure what that meant for her. She didn't have an outline. She didn't have like the five steps of what she can anticipate. She simply said, well, okay, I trust that this power of God in my life will be for God's own purposes and plan, right? That I'm part of something that's more than myself. And I think this is a great lesson for us. We in our modern world uh, are so in control of everything. I think we have lost the power of trust. We have lost the power of surrender. And yet what we find in that life of Mary is that she not only trusted that work of God in her lives, life, she surrendered to it and she handed over her will. Be it done unto me according to your will. Um, and that will of God is the love of God, right? And, and when, when God's will and our will are aligned, there is one love that's breathing through us into the world. And therefore, Mary shows us that we have nothing to fear uh, when we know that power of God to be at work in our lives. In these pandemic times, I think this is a great lesson for us. We're very fearful about what will happen to us. We're fearful about the future. 
We are fearful that the life we have known may never return again. But we need to trust that the same spirit that was at work in Mary's life is at work in our lives as well. And like Mary, we must listen to what God is asking of us in this moment. And like Mary, we must trust this power of God and we must surrender our need to control, to hand over our will to God and to work with God in the working out of our salvation. This, the angel Gabriel says to Mary, nothing is impossible with God, nothing. And we have made almost everything impossible. We shrink our possibilities to what we can, uh, in a sense, control. And Mary says to us, no, let go, let God. And there's the beauty of this story. When we can do this, we then give birth to Christ in our world. For Christ now has no body on earth, but yours and mine. No hands or feet, but yours and mine. Yours are feet by which Christ does good. Yours are the hands by which by which Christ blesses people now. That power of God's love, that power of the Spirit who brought to birth Jesus in the life of Mary is that same power of God at work in our lives in whom Christ can be brought to birth in our lives and through our lives, Christ can be the life of the world. Let us listen in faith and surrender.